Today is officially the day the Evo 8 is gonna be 100% tuned, 100% good to go. I just got a new map in from More Automotive. They have been working with me tuning this car for the last few months. It's taken quite a while, but in the end, this thing is hauling ass. Definitely faster than it's ever been. With this new map, we are now revving to 8,000 RPM. This is the very last map we are putting on the car. So revving at 8,000 RPM, which is pretty, it's pretty high for a 2.4 liter, I think. Not only are we revving out to 8,000 RPM, we also have like a two-step or launch control on this map, which is set at 6,000 RPM. It is straight piped and it sounds pretty nutty already just at idle, but with a two-step or a launch control at 6,000 RPM, it's gonna make some pretty crazy noises. We're using ECU flash to reflash the car with a Taxtrix cable. And then to data log it, I do have to send one more data log in, um, just revving all the way out to 8,000 RPM and make sure everything's good. To data log it, we are gonna be using EvoScan. All right, we are good to go. Operation is successful. We are going to turn off the car. Unplug everything. Actually, I'll need that later, but let's fire it up and see how she runs. These warm starts have always been a little bit funky on this car. Not exactly sure why. More did say it was something to do with like the Tefra maps we were using or something like that. Um, it still starts out perfectly fine every time. It just idles a little bit low for like a split second and then it'll come back up to regular idle. Cold starts are 100% amazing. Never once had had an issue with cold starts in the last like two months. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit and then we can see how loud this launch control is. It's set at 6,000 RPM, the car is straight pipe. It's gonna be pretty freaking loud. I'm just picturing Bobby's reaction right now when I scare it for the very first time. I remember doing that in the Evo 10 a while ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is much more crazy sounding though. I cannot wait to scare Bobby with this car. Guys, my clutch might have just took a shit.
So the very first pull to 8,000 RPM, I'm pretty sure just completely destroyed my clutch. Or if, it doesn't really make sense though because 8K isn't that much higher than like a stock Evo can rev to. I mean, a stock Evo you can probably rev to like 7,500. So I'm not sure why, I don't know what fell apart, but something definitely just fell apart inside my clutch because it's not working. To get going, I have to shut the car off, put it in first gear, and then crank it over with the clutch in, and it's just like lurching, lurching, lurching forward. Something definitely came apart. I was able to limp the car home. Let's kind of go over it, and I'll try to show you guys the best I can what exactly is going on. So there's still pressure on the clutch pedal. Like the clutch feels like it works. It's just super, super soft. I know it's not a throw bearing clip issue. Like we all know Evos have their pull style clutch. So there's a clip on the backside that a lot of times will pop off if you're running a stock clip. The ACT monolock collar does fix that problem. So we know it's not that clip. I was thinking maybe we have some sort of leak on, on the slave cylinder, but that thing all looks to be in good condition. When you go to drive the car, you have to shut it off. You put it in first gear, pushing the clutch to depress the clutch switch so you can get it started. You'll get it started and it'll just lurch forward with the clutch in. So I know it's not engaging all the way and then it makes a bunch of racket as well. So I'm pretty sure what happened is there's a few fingers on the pressure plate. If I had a clutch here, I'd show you a few fingers. I'm guessing a few of those broke off when I went to shift at 8,000 RPM. Spinning super fast, I don't know exactly why I would do that. I'm pretty sure it's a comp stage two or an ACT stage two in here. So I thought it would hold up, but it just gives us a reason now to pull the motor out of this car, pull the tranny out and kind of go through it all. There is quite a few things on here I want to kind of adjust and address while we have the motor and tranny out. A lot of the wiring back there needs to be cleaned up. O2 sensor wiring that all needs to be cleaned up. I might go to like a rotated turbo kit or like a forward facing turbo kit. Probably, maybe not yet but farther down the road, I kind of want to. Um, I may put the battery back in the trunk. Intake manifold is definitely gonna go black. This thing is just not very clean looking right now for an engine bay, and I don't really like it like that. Oh man, that sounds so bad. It is pretty funny, the other day I was telling Bobby, I hope something on the Evo 8 blows up soon so it gives me a reason to pull the motor and tranny out and kind of go through everything. So I kind of wish this upon myself. It's crazy how that all works out, but now we do have a reason, a very, very legitimate reason to pull everything out and kind of go through it. So with this car being down, there's not much we can really do on it. My man Chris over at More Automotive did send me a new tune, or the first tune, first official tune for the Evo 10. So that is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna jump in the Evo 10, go see how it runs, do a data log, send it over, and start the whole tuning process with this car. I don't wanna start tearing into the Evo 8 until this car is, this car right here, is pretty much 100% done. And hopefully we can get this thing tuned a lot faster than the Evo 8. That, we, we were tuning the Evo 8 for like five months. Hopefully this is like a week. So we just got the first map or the first tune loaded on to the ECU. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up, data log the whole thing and see how it runs. This whole e-tuning process is very, very simple. If you have a laptop and a tactrix cable, the tuner does the rest of it. All you have to do is plug, plug in your laptop with the tactrix cable. More automotive has been killing it so far with the e-tunes. This thing is kind of warming up and idling. Um, we need to figure out how to get this hood to stay down because we don't have the hood latch on it. Bobby just got here, just in time to go on this nice cruise. Closed hood. That shit better stay closed. Uh, it probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go get gas, so we're gonna just data log the car on the way to the gas station, and then that should be plenty enough for like the first data log to make sure everything's running good. And then we could just we gotta break it in still. It's a brand new motor. Yes. And I should probably get a shift on the fence. Oh, honey, that's not safe. That's definitely not safe. It's a shift knob, safe. dude. It's not a wheel. I am 
Cat B. We just got back from the very first drive. Bobby went and put gas in it for me. We are at 9.9 .9 miles on the new motor, running absolutely amazing. AFRs are good, oil pressure is good. Everything's really, really good. Don't you think? That's pretty good. Pretty good. Can I show you something with my Evo 8 now? Yeah. We added some, some stuff to the Evo 8 and Bobby hasn't seen it yet or heard it, so. Let's go get Bobby's reaction. <laughs> Is dummy loud. Yeah, I got scared the first time when I held it down, so I let go. Why did you run down to the shop when, when? Because it literally felt like there was like something chasing me. <laughs> it was it was chase it was two stepping after me. You wanna make your car do that? No. Why? I'm good. I don't think I'm ever gonna rev it up like that. I'm not just gonna sit in the parking lot and do that. That is gonna be it for today, boys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Unfortunately, we uh, we kind of talk of the Evo 8, but coming soon, we'll have that car back up in the road. In the road. In the road, not on We're the road. Gonna have in it the, inside the it's road. gonna be in the road. <laughs> Stop freaking spanking me. Tomorrow, or actually later on today, I ain't gonna lie, I was gonna say tomorrow, but later on today, here in like two minutes, Bobby is getting new wheels on our car. That'll be the next video you guys see is new wheels for Bobby's car and a few other little things, maybe. Do you really wanna see the built light? What a scratch. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was like car or something. From your exhaust? Yeah, it's not. It's a scratch.